Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of Shattered Kingdoms, Red Skies at Night. Seller's Delight. Delight, damn you. I said delight. Groove is uh, in the heart. Uh, <laughs> we're all dancing. Um, <laughs> everybody, last time, what happened? Y'all fought a vampire, a Nosferatu. Yep. And he did a bunch of teleporting nonsense. There was a there was a rope. Um, yep. And we all uh, made it up there, didn't we? <laughs> at some point or another, most a, a majority of you <laughs> reached his house. Um, That's right. Um, but you all defeated him, uh, uh, and now we um, we pick back up in his his vampire lair. Everyone gained a level. Yeah. I'm going to assume Darmid and Nor took another level in their primary class of uh, druid and monk, respectively. See. Mm -hmm. But our multi-class, Umi, what did you take a level in? Oh, uh, yeah, thanks for asking. Uh, so, yeah, I, uh, I went uh, sorcerer this time. I think the last couple uh, adventures have been very harrowing <laughs> on uh, Umi, and it's been about being more powerful uh again i'm in my head i'm treating it as one class but functionally it doesn't work like that so i went a little bit more sorcerer this time i didn't deepen my connection with the the ocean or uh you know my, my patron or matron there uh i felt it was more about needing to be bigger and better into the moment so i went sorcerer okay connection with yourself as opposed to with your, that's right your, your opposite or whatever uh, yes and I, so i get mini magic now Yes. Nice. Yeah, or you, yes. Right, because you had sorcery points before, but the only thing you could spend mm -hmm. them on is to create spell slots. Okay. Yes. Uh, so what meta, met, what meta magic options did you take? Uh, I'm still hemming and hawing about it, but I did land on Quicken Spell and Seeking mm -hmm. Spell. Ooh. What's a Seeking Spell? Uh, you give yourself advantage, or you can re-roll after you miss. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So... Kind of how we run advantage a lot of the time, right, but right. that's not technically advantage if you... Right, yes. So, uh -huh. um, okay. Yep. Uh, nor you get... You get everyone's favorite class monk feature, monk class feature, stunning strike, throat punch, dot gif. Um, <laughs> and an extra attack. <laughs> Do you get anything else? Yeah. Or is that enough? Uh, I think that was it. That is enough. Uh, another key point. <laughs> Yeah, another yeah, key and point. another key point for all those stunning strikes you're gonna uh, do. Darmid gets third level spells, the only spellcaster who can cast third level spells in the party. Okay, mm -hmm. seems, I'm just saying. Seems mm -hmm. seems directed by omission. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Do, do you get any other class features at level five, Darmid? Uh, I don't believe I do. No, I mean uh, third level spells is pretty great. So and cantrip, cantrip damage goes up. For everybody. Uh, yeah, and I got another cantrip, too. Okay. I believe. Well, uh, not for everybody. It's for everyone who can cast can't. So for everyone. <laughs> fine. Yeah, I took Druid. Single out I, took, <laughs> I took Druid Craft. Which my other, <laughs> other okay. cantrip. Cool. Ooh, a good nice one. one. A nice solid yeah, one. I like. It's like having the, the pocket knife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Wrong window. Let's see. Put up on map. Okay. So, you all are still on the island of Alton. You have defeated of the... Hold on, i got to do math. Five vampire lords here. You have defeated three of them. The remaining two are in a castle. Mm. They're what? together. They're together. Inland. Inland, yes. Inland. Yes. Um, which is the opposite of Outland. Right. Um, ah, and you're that's where I'm from. an outlander, so yeah. they're your hated Out enemies. Are there ah. outlanders? <laughs> yeah, I believe they're a team from New York. The um, inlanders, right. They're, they're, they're a good. team yeah. from New York, yep. Um, <laughs> the lawn so, inlanders? The, the lawn, long inland, inlanders. This is lawn, a very lawn. serious show for very serious right. people. Absolutely. Very serious. Um, so let's go talk to Bing Bong. <laughs> Bing Bong. <laughs> um, um, so. so Victoria and Zechariah. Correct. And you've been uh, warned that they have Krakow Biles and Buzzards. 
by Kai in a blood moon. <laughs> it boils buzzards. Oh, in blood moats, yes, correct. I couldn't remember <laughs> if I said that, but they do indeed have a blood moat. What's the other one's name? Victoria and... Zachariah. Zachariah. That's right. Uh, yeah, I had all my notes on my other sheet, which I put somewhere in a pile. I got my new guy here. Um, right. So, and we're, like, on a pile of loot, right? Yeah. Yep. It's basically the, um... The town's, like, purse. Like, it's all of the... All of the all of any riches and family family heirlooms the town had. So no magic items that you can see. It's a lot of gold and, you know, goblets and, and fine silverware in China. And mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, there is like a couple crowns and stuff like that from, you know, way back when, when the, 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 there was like a local warlord kind of thing. Um, what about that thing. vampire medallion? He from... does have a vampire right. medallion. This one is not magic. He's a very traditional, Dracula. Yeah. He's more of an Ghost ambassador. Count, Count Orlock. Yeah, he has right. diplomatic immunity. So right. Yes. Um, yeah. I will still collect it just in case we need it for something. Yeah. In case, case we need to bluff like, our way. You know, you know who has a vampire medallion? Vampires. <laughs> yeah, we want to be careful going back to the swamp dwarves <laughs> with that. But maybe we can get in to uh, see these other two and pass pass some of us ourselves off as vampires. Yeah, yeah we did give away a big, a big vampire boot, but I don't think it would have it wouldn't have fit down. It would have right. been very you know you would have had a whatever that movie is. <laughs> sure, where they uh, move a, where they move a real boat across the Alps or whatever it is. It's a oh, um, okay uh, uncharted. Yes, it's it's the classic movie <laughs> Uncharted. Are you talking about like Fitzcarraldo? I think I am talking about Fitzcarraldo. Yes, the the, the um, Klaus Kinski of Inventors. Yes, Klaus Kinski. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Before, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking uh, of Nosferatu. Sure. Exactly. Um. Okay. Well, yeah, that's fine then. Um. Well, we could fit our boat up the river. Yeah. The the problem is at some point. There's just, it's no, it, it, they're at a point where the the water does not touch, basically. So you have to, like, hmm. you will have to disembark yeah. at some point. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, you could you can totally, and you could have taken the big one up the river a little bit. Um, but yeah, you'll have, you can take it up the river and then you're going to have to trek. Okay. Uh, I got to figure we want to press, right? Like, yeah. Uh, who knows if they managed to send messages to each other, anything like that, before they uh, expire or engage in yeah. combat with us. Right before you um, throw the coffin, you might have sent off a little sending or something. Yeah, um, and and we know enough uh, just from growing up in an undead rich area that certainly their mistress probably is feeling them disconnect or otherwise. Uh, I, I'm going to presume that she knows a bit of what's going on and then could communicate to her folks like hey someone's knocking you down like 10 pins maybe not hopefully <laughs> not but we, we can't necessarily presume we're going to catch them all flat-footed yeah. um which means the faster we move the better chance we have of that i think right and what time mm -hmm. of day is it right now till daylight uh yeah or it was um, when we were fighting it was like it was like it was like four it was like four o'clock last right. uh and when you entered the tower and because Combat in D and D takes a minute. It's now four oh three. Wow! I really thought we were gonna. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> well, I so fast in my life. Um, well, I I know you guys got really rogered in there, so perhaps we should find uh, either. Well, this place, all the doors are rotting and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, this... you could sleep in a big pile of gold. And you can, yeah, we, and it would be difficult to get up to his room. Like you all could do it again, but Umi has to again, climb that room. Like death yeah. and, death and poop we could all do it. it again, he said. Again, <laughs> it's all uh, <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah, because we we all made it up there, didn't we, lads? Um, <laughs> it was great. You see Fiona poke her head out. Hi, I made it up here. Oh, damn it! Get down here. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's gonna let Zip. the bats out. Somebody's gotta. <laughs> Who let the bats out? Uh, <laughs> it. Yeah, so... it smells like bat shit up there. <laughs> His last words were, "Someone take care of my babies." <laughs> oh, no, thank you. So I, I don't think you need to care for bats. I think they care for themselves. Yeah, I think they'll figure they it out. I um, don't want to sleep up there. Is my point? Oh yeah, probably not. It's all shitty and literally shitty. So I like being on the boat and long resting overnight as we mm-hmm. go up river. Okay. Presumably they can't like cross the running water to get to us on the boat, but they may have you know em- emissaries minions ranged reality uh, animals mm-hmm. other monstrosities that might. Um mm-hmm. but yeah I mean we just take that chance I guess cuz yeah. yeah. I mean what are we going to do? Push all night like Well and in I mean, we well, don't really we have a lot of... Where either they're hunkered down and rest, or we move and rest. Yeah. yeah. Move, moving in, you know, and, and either way, we want to have a watch set. And then yeah. if we if the watch is set, is also active pilot, if we're pressing on, right, as far as we can, mm-hmm. but wise, um, then I think we're all capable of navigating with a boat, right? So... Um, yeah, I like... Because we don't really have any detailed maps of the area. Like, do we have a sense, just from seeing most of the coast, how far in? Like, how how many? We managed to get around most of the island in like a day's time, right? Yes. So, so presumably, it's not going to take more than a day to get. No, probably not. So, so you were at the somewhere to. You're at the basically. Hmm, you're basically like the big, the big, mushy top of the island, the biggest part. If you're all looking at the mm-hmm. map, um, the big thick part, it's it's basically like towards the it's see that kind of thick part in the middle ish, just below mm-hmm. the broccoli head. Uh-huh. It's like right dead in the middle of there. It'll probably take you. Yeah. Probably eight hours to get there. Especially because you're unclear of what some of the terrain will be. There's some it, now, from the shore. There was some rocky looking terrain. Now, is the eight hours including foot travel time, or is that purely traveling up the river to that's, get where that's we need eight to hours go? total? So you can go okay. up the river a little bit. You're going to have to stop more the boat, and then it'll be probably another. It, it, the chunk of it will be on foot. It'll probably be about five hours on foot. Okay. Yeah. So. Um. I am kind of in favor of let's just take our long rest in the water and we can head out in the morning. Yeah. I like that. And if we go ahead and rest now before like the sun sets, then we could even head out even earlier in the morning if we're, you know, wanting some expediency. Absolutely. Use all the daylight we have. Yeah. Good day. Okay. Good day. Perfect. Okay. Got to be in bed by Good. 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get that 14. Um, <laughs> uh, you all get... Uh, a nice restful evening of sleep and level up. Yay. Yay. Yeah. I already knew that. Um, but, uh, the sky is bright and clear. Uh, indeed red sky as the sun sets. Um, and other than that, calm as can be bright stars, uh, not a cloud in the sky overnight. Uh, in the morning, you all can sail up the river a bit, moor the boat. Fiona is like, I got it. Goes back into her hiding spot. Uh, <laughs> she starts to draw some like, comic books down there. Yes. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I do have two quick questions. Sure. Uh, so, first of all, before I hit this long rest button, it has an option for reset my maximum P. Can I, yes, can I yes. have that, that checked? Okay. That, um, 
that goes away on on long rests. Excellent. Um, second question mm-hmm. has to do with my allegiance system thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so as we established the last time that I was doing this, uh, each evening when the stars first appear, oh, yes. I can cast augury without expending a spell slot. So my question is, does that mean that like, or the like at any point in the day, or is it literally just when the f- stars first appear? It's just when the stars appear. I, okay. Because it yeah. has, because there's a second part of that, th- re- the thing where you have advantage on divination oh, saves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so okay. it's just that. So yeah it, yeah, it is corner case, but. Yeah, uh, no, totally. Uh, and yeah, I just assumed that I would have done that during yeah, and, our and rest. Yeah, wheel or woe. Yeah. The good one. Yeah. <laughs> Wheel or well or whatever. Is Sonus it? is really wheel, different wheel right now. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. <laughs> wheel, well, what's the difference even really? Well, well. One person's wheel is another person's well. Uh, now he's got the hyper blues. <laughs> Bring it all back. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Those are my questions. <laughs> um, yeah, and if we keep the same watch order, where I, uh, I just can't take the middle. Um, <laughs> I can set sail from from my watch. Oh, like first thing in the morning, then? Yeah, like yeah. I, sure. I'm a I'm a boatman. Great. Um, Roll for boatman. <laughs> One of my inspirations is Moana. I can certainly do that part. <laughs> Surfing. Um, do you sing a little song while you go? It's about Obi-Wan. knowing myself and my dad not understanding. Yes. Um, <laughs> which uh, is hard for... I mean, he's dead, so it's not really his fault. I like but, how like, your name for him and his, his state of life uh, sounded identical. Dead's <laughs> <laughs> dead. Yeah, my dad's yeah, dead. Dead's dead. <laughs> It's dead. <laughs> oh, it's your, dead is it's your dead. dead, dead. Yes. Is your dead dead too? No, no I don't hope not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I, I don't. I don't think. <laughs> nah, he's he at the. Saying? He's with the boys. Cut the to a boys. Sandbar. The boys. <laughs> <laughs> they just crashed on it. Exactly. It's a different sandbar from the last one. But it's really up some about... dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Literal island dogs. Yeah, they're having a great time. <laughs> they too. They'll be fine. Um, <laughs> Darman's dad is making a lean to. <laughs> um, you speak my language. <laughs> uh, 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 you all set sail first thing in the morning up the river through the woods um so the in, house. the interior to the to the vampire's house we go um the interior of this island is um there's a lot of like kind of new england uh hmm. um cliffs and uh like a lot of trees and stuff like that like the the bottom half of the island was fairly like tropical and temperate but it was all hmm. It had all been seashore towned, basically. Like, it was all industrialized at some point. Up here, it's... This is clearly where they got all their timber. And it's it's now very overgrown since the last 50 years have been um, uninhabited. Um, so, uh, trekking is difficult in places. Um, okay. There's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of prey animals. Deer. Mm. uh um, those weird underdark cows, you know, stuff like that. Oh, uh, <laughs> like, Roth- oh. Rothe? Yes, yes. They glow or something like that. Um, yeah. And they're miniature, I think. <laughs> right. Um, so like reverse aurochs. Yes, yeah. Um, uh, can I get perception checks, please? This party's speciality. Eek. Well, no, don't say that before we roll. <laughs> Mm. Uh, 
17. 17 is pretty good. Uh, 15. 15 is pretty good. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see a pit and I fell in it. Oh, no. To my death. No. Uh, yeah, I got a, you did. I got an old nitty one. Oh. Uh, historically not good. Uh, <laughs> or <laughs> historically not good. Famously. Uh, yeah, or where I come from, they call them knots. <laughs> no, I, brought a, I brought a knot. Not. Uh, a knot. You're well, being very knotty. The, the good news is you sort of understand what's happening, but only because a bird poops in your eye. <laughs> ah, yeah, get it. <laughs> but as the bird kind of swoops in, it looks it looks back at you and it says, The masters must tell the masters. Mm. 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 That's nope. a vampire servant. No. Can I catch that bird? Can we, yeah, can we get him? <laughs> Leave me alone. Hold on, let's hear him. <laughs> let's hear him. Greg. He says no. Uh, yeah, you can try and catch him. <laughs> All right, what okay. do I, I got to roll to catch a burb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh... you're just going to monk shit. Yeah. That's a Mr. Thought... Weapon, right? Would you call a bird a Mr. Weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Good try. Uh, All right. <laughs> um, uh, uh, try and make a grapple check. So, so make a um, athletics or acrobatics check contested by this bird. Okay, cool. It is bird. I got something in in my back pocket. If it doesn't work, make bird. Can uh, I absorb uh, elements on the bird shit. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> elemental plane of poop. That's gonna be a dirty twenty nice. for acrobatics. Acrobatics. Let's see how this bird does. It's bird. Acrobatics. <laughs> Abro brab rippers. <laughs> Paca. Paca. He's on yeah, yeah, yeah. Bird. Paca. Paca. Uh, oh come on! Snatch. Paca. <laughs> Let me go. I'm just a regular indigenous bird. Hello, uh -huh. Kong. I mean, chirp. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, you're staying with us. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> okay, yeah, it checks I, out. I won't add much to this conversation since I'm just a regular bird. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, right. Can I cast Detect Bird? Um... Uh, <laughs> It's right here in my hand. <laughs> no, I mean, is he really a bird? Maybe he's something oh. else. Um, I, I have a quick oh, question. Uh, what the hell, man? <laughs> yeah, you just I'll pooped look up, in his I eye. Don't know. Oh, it's hard. To, like, because you can't just wipe it. Like, you just have to, like, blot it. You have to cry, have to cry it out. <laughs> use, yeah. use your water. Have to cry use it your out. Water. Yeah, flush yeah, it. Shape, really flush shape, it. Shape, shape poop. The bird's got, like, a bunch of... Meats on bikes coming. Uh, I heard that. <laughs> biker, angry bird, the biker edition. Um, they're like those ones that were fighting Thor in Thor: Love and Thunder. Um, the biker birds. Mm -hmm. uh, well, listen. If you're a bird, I am. I mean, you have any... uh huh. Right. I don't think you are. I think you're some sort of familiar. Well, if Servant. I was, I'd probably be a pretty great one. I bet you would. But as we all know, if you're familiar, you have to tell us. Legally? Legally, <laughs> you have to tell us. I'd like to wait until I have my familiar representation. Oh, I see. So if you're asking for familiar representation, you are, uh, i.e. ergo to wit, a familiar. Fuck. familiar. <laughs> right? I got you in a legal double bind. Yeah. Damn druid circle of lawyers. Circle. <laughs> I want my union rep. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, I'm a star lawyer. Circle of star lawyers. Um, Familiars and retainers, 420. 420, 420. strong. 420 strong. What? Uh, well, look, look talk, I do have an herbalism kit, you know. If you, if you become our friend, I mean, listen, we know you're working for the the, the vampires. 
Who said anything about vampires? You said you said the masters. Well, I said the masters. That's it's just that's a total giveaway because birds are free and they have no masters. Fuck. <laughs> See. <laughs> also, Druid, you I realize if you had just waited like ten seconds to fly away, we wouldn't have known. Hey, what the hell, man? You're still not over it. <laughs> uh, can I, oh, try I a good use, shot? Can I try and use Druid craft to poop out of. Um... <laughs> it, was, it was a real horizontal one. Yeah, that right. can't be easy. I mean, that's, there's, do they have prestidigitative uh, aspects to this cantrip? Let me see here. Druidcraft does let you do a bunch of stuff. I'm, you I'm do shaped, stuff. I don't I'm know shaping if you, water. If poop, if poop bending <laughs> is included in yeah, that, but it, can you clean with it? Or no, uh, no. Uh, I create sensory effects. I can predict the weather. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's actually super valuable. Um, uh, In this setting, yes. I can make a flower blossom, a seed pod open, or a leaf blood plume. That's pretty great. Uh, I can make sensory effects, falling leaves, puffs of wind, and I can snuff out a uh, candle torch or a campfire. You can so make no, the bird poop smell like a skunk. That's true. <laughs> that would be even better, right? Um, Disagree. Uh, what would make you? I'll make it smell like an onion so that you cry it out. That actually has some sense to it. I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna use shape water to uh, make an eye fluffing station. <laughs> <laughs> Those little cups, eye cups. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have an eye eye cups in your just like... drop a ring, create Ooh. water into your eye. <laughs> That's pretty great. I didn't roll Wait, very good on my stealth check. Orange. Well, you rolled better than me, so. It is. Uh, what, what's your name, Bird? I can't keep calling you Bird. I apologize. It's your name, Bird. That's it's that's Bird me assuming. I, Bird, Bird, Birdington. As soon yeah. as I write that down, that's your real name. Are you sure? Write down that you don't want to take that back, real quick. Bird Birdington. There it is. <laughs> My friends call me Birdie. I know. Okay, Birdie, your friends. Do you prefer Birdie Feathers? Is that better? Or... <laughs> Come on, Flip. Yeah. Hey, okay. <laughs> I got many aliases on the gram. Oh, no. Anyway. None of them are for stalking like an ex or anything, are they? Because it's not cool, man. No, no. Betty. <laughs> well, yeah, now you're quiet. I used to work for some different vampires, and I just want to see how they're doing sometimes. Mm. Not cool, oh, man. I Not see. Cool. Right. I mean, I mean, I didn't work for any vampires. Yeah, sorry. Fuck. Yeah, we got you, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, you bet. Why are you doing this anyway? Are you compelled to? Well, yeah. You, you're like in this form. Because they chose you to look like this, and you actually have a different form. Where are you from? I... Whoa! Whoa! Right. I, I'm from right. the stardust that makes up all of us. I think. See, it's right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's actually in line with our belief system. So, um, yeah, he really is from. At least, he really is from local 420. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Same reunion rep. I, I, this is all a test. This is all a test. I'm your union rep. Oh, you're my uh, union rep. Oh, I am. sweet. Yeah, that's good. So, how are the vampires treating you? How are the How are the vampires treating you? I need to follow up with you on this stuff. A couple of weirdos here making it hot for old Bernie Burdington. <laughs> uh... This is a very serious show, and we take it very seriously. <laughs> Circle of Star Lawyers. I got a new headset. Ooh, Just nice. for this. Just for this. Um, so you could hear Birdie Birdington. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, tra I'm treated pretty good. I mean, they don't have any mirrors for me to look at. They forbid them. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. They're depressed. I love to preen, you know. Right. But I mean, okay, sure. Yeah. So, uh, that, all the bird seed, they don't need any bird seeds, so, you know. I get a lot of it, 
Right. And how many? Uh, how many other? Uh, what's their infrastructure like? Do you have other servants? I, I, mean, I, I'm pulling a lot. I wear a lot of different hats: chauffeur, HR. You know. <laughs> chauffeur. Yeah. What do, What do you drive? <laughs> a carriage. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. And are the you? Crocobiles you... do most of the work, you know. Oh, but... crocobiles! Yeah. Mm. They're like full of acid, right? Yeah, yeah, they're like they're like bone white. They sit Ugh. in the blood mode all day, and they're just like land on me. I'm just blood like, I don't boat. think I will land on you, and they're like, yeah, but you there's know. a blood mode. How deep Good. is it? Oh, uh, like um, I don't know, like ten, fifteen of me. I'd get ten stuck or fifteen in it. of you. And how big are you? I'm like oh. a foot tall. Wow. So you know units of measure. That's good. Sure. You know, buddy, you're bigger than I was imagining. <laughs> That's a big, like, yeah, a big yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. we had you like this, behavior like this. Hawking so. bat sized. I mean, yeah. I'm you know. between hawk and bat sized. Thank you. Someone who's speaking my language. Right. No, that's good. Fuck. That's good. Fuck. Uh, yeah. Agreed so on all points. 15 or 20 of you deep. And how far across? Like, how long oh, does it take? Oh, boy. It? it takes me like almost six whole seconds to fly across. Oh, okay. I Is see. there a bridge? As the crow flies, hey. what a, what manner of bird are you? What's up? Because I was, I was <laughs> <laughs> observing me. I was picturing a, a raven, but like a raven sauce raven. What what manner of bird is Ravens he? Are big. <laughs> they get very big. Yeah, I'm a it's... pretty big raven, I think. How big is a bird? How big is a raven? Ravens you, be big. you know what? You already said you didn't have any mirrors. That's big. on me. That's on me. How but would you know? They do know units of measure, though. That's true. Or at, least, or at least units of self. Bird height. Bird, bird height. No, I don't want to know Larry Bird's height. Nice. My, I want him to be that tall. He's like you, he's like feet. six eight or whatever. <laughs> you get what you yeah. search for. You get... <laughs> wow, ain't that the truth? <laughs> or you're gotten by what you search for. Hold for bird height. Yeah, I, he's a he's Colder. a blackbird. Blackbirds, Singing blackbirds average are twenty four or about ten inches. He's a slightly big blackbird. Okay, yeah, it's a big blackbird. A COVID of some sort. Mm -hmm. Classic. Cla classic. Classic COVID. A magpie. Um. Classic familiar is what you are. Yeah, I'm more familiar with your, with your type. Uh huh. Look, mm -hmm. looking awfully familiar. <laughs> birdie, birdie, birdie. The more you sound like Mickey Mouse, the harder it is every time you say fuck. It's great. It's actually really working for me. Okay. I didn't decide what? on this voice until like two seconds before I did it, and no yeah. no regrets. Yeah. All right? Nope. Exactly. Why would you? Uh, so, as the U flies, which direction would you go? How are you going? Well, I'm headed. We were, we were headed in the right direction. That's why I had to go tell the masters. I still do. No, Just but you're not know. going. You're not going to tell them. Why are not? you the only one? You said you work a lot of hats. Are you the only like uh, perimeter guard type? Yeah, like the thing with sapiens. Yeah. Right. Well, they got some mirror demons, but they only well, no, wait, not mirror demons. There are no uh, mirrors. They have some uh, demons. My apologies. Uh -huh. Mirrors on okay. the brain. <laughs> Right. I'm just dreaming about right. mirrors. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, I, I get it. You're you're kind of a demon too, aren't you? I I mean, well, I don't like to use that term. I actually don't well, think I have it. You just did use that term. Well, for, in regards to myself. Oh, I see. I actually think uh, um, you're more of a devil. Uh, your familiar axes, blah 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 blah. Probably, probably Faye, he's unless checking you... his, he's checking his. his oh hand. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait. Celestial Fae or Fae? Yeah, I'm, I'm a Fae. Oh, you're a Fae. Yeah. How nice of you. How it's, nice. It's sort of so, buried in the middle of the spell. It's all good. It's all good. You got uh, to you, you read the whole thing. Yeah, it's a long text. Yeah, you got to <laughs> read the whole thing. Right. Uh, but no, there are some, what did, what did I say? There's some demons. I mean, there's some undead. Like I said, there's, um, right. there's crocodiles and buzzards. Mm -hmm. I don't like the buzzards. Why not? Um, they're it horrible. sounds like a whole. Have you ever seen them? Uh, they're real buzzkill. 
Yeah. Ooh, All right. Ooh, right? That's what they say when they take someone out. They go, buzzkill. <laughs> See, they got a catchphrase. <laughs> Only I have a catchphrase. It's fuck. Ah, uh, you're really good at that. Fuck. I can see. I, I can see it on a t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want a t-shirt with a raven that just says fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I think we can arrange it. Um, uh, F and birds probably has one. This is a, this is a whole Castlevania we're getting into up oh, here. Oh yeah, though. it's a real. Yeah. There's floating Medusa heads. It's a whole thing. Oh no, Medusa heads. <laughs> Do you say? Yeah, it's like a boy Medusa. Yep, it's a Medusa. I like Medusa. It's good. They've... That should be the child of Black Bolt and uh, <laughs> Medusa. 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 Medusa gone. Uh, Bolt again. Bolt again. Medusa he's left. A helmet, a helmet with a visor, but yeah, he lifts but... it up to like petrify you. <clears throat> it's a whole thing. Going oh, to yeah. work every day is fun. You know, it's always so... an adventure. Right. So we're gonna have to get to a certain point, have certain areas be closed off to us until we get the right tool, and then we can go right. back to those areas. Yeah, there are some magic items strewn about. You can get a dash and a light whip. Oh, really? All right. Some well, wild chickens? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, some sort of bomb roll feature? I know a lot about Metroid <laughs> and Castlevania. <laughs> If only there was oh, one yeah. word to combine them, no, some I kind of port so, Some sort of castelloid. <laughs> you know what? Call it off. You did it. Yep. <laughs> some kind of castelloid is right. <laughs> this is a very serious stream. We take it very seriously. And I need to stress <laughs> that right now. Because I feel like some of you in the audience are getting very silly. And I feel yeah. like... <laughs> Stop that. Yeah. Damn silly. Yeah. Oh. And there's nothing silly about Birdie Birdington. Tell us no. about <laughs> So, all right, well... We are asking. Yeah, we might be in this for a minute is all. So, or, or not, or for not very long at all. Luckily, a minute. luckily, Fiona does not eat a lot of stew. Um, so oh, is there someone else I can go talk to? Absolutely um, not. What, Unless what, we tie you, you up. You don't want to speak with us? I just, you know... My no. masters are going to be missing me after a while, and well, I'd like be. to provide... Okay, wow, hurtful. I'm just wondering, you know, <laughs> checking your perspective. Hey, as your union rep, I have, to, I have to get a gauge on these things. What's your assessment? Do you really yeah. think you'll be missed? Are they treating you well? Well, I mean, they give us pizza, and they talk about how we're a family. Oh, I, I take take out a clipboard, tutting as I jot a few things down. What? I'm furrowing the my blood brow. It's definitely OSHA accepted. I'm almost positive. Mm, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have to talk to my colleague about. Yeah. Um, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Am I a rat? But you know, <laughs> mm, kind of. You're you were just gonna yeah. go tell the masters here at least a knock. We've established it. Right. Right. <laughs> Fuck. Exactly. <laughs> so, and and we've, I mean, right now you're worth two of you in a bush. Whoa. Just so you know. That's like an analogy or an aphorism it, or It's something. some kind of something with an A. Um, Alliteration, yes. I think. It's right. Um, probably, probably not that one. A uh, birdie bit. Anyway, why don't we um, tie birdie bit in here to gnaw so it has a little... I just imagine, like, just like Do still, still like holding him, like, but just strapped. Like, well, now I can't use my hands, everybody. <laughs> like, we have to no, four no, I know, I know. I just, <laughs> it was just funny. Well, that you're way. ideally That's suited why to walk around holding someone and still kick ass. That's why. I... Ow! <laughs> exactly. Whoops, Stop sorry, punching LeBron. people with me. <laughs> Do, other... Fuck. Do, we... Do we want to bind the wings? Do you want to just that tie? Sound very nice. That sounds unethical. Tie, tie clip, him clip, up clip, down clip here. Don't clip my wings. Others. Come on, man. No, they'll grow back. They'll grow Come back. on. Come on. Not my wings. Well, look, I, I, you're not familiar my, anyway. Not my silky and iridescent wings. I be, oh, you're fey. Right. Sorry. As we get closer, uh, and honestly, Bertie, you've been an absolute rat. Because, yeah, you are just spilling. <laughs> you're just a, 
Did you say I mean, a COVID? Because you're more like, like a, a pigeon. Ooh, <laughs> oh, truly. That's a great insult to my family. <laughs> like, as in, you really liked it, or you, the other way? <laughs> Does his best to turn away from you. <laughs> Dang it. I'm but sorry, but You can still see that, like, one bird eye, kind of. Yeah. It's a real crazy <laughs> look. Um, yeah. yeah, we could use somebody familiar with the area. Oh. Okay, we're just going to keep going with the familiar puns. Hey. I scored a one oh. on my perception. I pooped in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it yeah. wasn't. Oh yeah, I guess damn. we didn't get off on the right wing. You're not pooping in. Um, now, now you're doing it. How am I supposed to respond? Nora's hands are. This is how I talk. Oh, I I imagine them grabbing around the body. Oh, that's right. Good. Yeah, no, so, like, you've got a good like squish. old. His eyes are kind of bugging a little bit. She can weaponize the poop. If He's like, this is so poop should together. we? So should we bind the whole bird, put him in a little satchel, bindle, a little bindle? Bird or bird. just bind the legs and attach him to Nor so he can't fuck all the way back off, but he does have some amount of movement. Yeah, that depends on how much Nor wants to get flapped in the face. Yeah. You're going to get flapped. You're going to get some <laughs> flapping. You're going to get some hop-ons. Uh, uh, let's just... I've, I've already got the wings. Let's just go ahead and bind those. Okay, to the just, okay well, do I get a vote? Uh, Ooh, let's talk to your union rep. Um, what's your, sen uh, what's your seniority? I, gonna, uh, basically, um, because of your everything I've jotted down, basically I have to step in and take your vote by as a proxy vote. So, uh, we're, yeah, that's just it's a bylaws. <laughs> it's sort of out of my hands, and really, you brought it on yourself. So, if I mean, Fuck. you could leave the union, but with all those penalties, uh, you know, I don't know where you could go. No one's gonna take me. Right, exactly. I mean, you could continue to keep working for your masters, but without your protection, they're yeah, gonna, no one likes to scab. Eat you. Oh, well, I've except never... those guys. They they kind of like scabs. Oh like yeah, snacks. I guess I, they, I deal with scabs a lot in the workplace. They have like little dishes of them out for a company who come by. Hey, real quick, the the, the blood <laughs> mode scab does it? Oh, it's horrible! Oh. It's constantly got a film over it. Right. So you got like the pool guy with the net. Oh, and it just smells of iron, and it's just viscous. It's got That's crocodiles awful. living in it, and they poop in crocodiles. it. Crocodiles. Oh, crocodile poop. That's, That's what the crocodiles are there for, dude. Are we sure we're the right level for this? I feel like maybe we should gain some levels. Why? What level are you? Oh, we're level uh, 200. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. It, yeah, it's pretty good. Mm, less than that. I'm, I'm half and half. Oh, it's really, oh, you're it's like really... some sort of inept multi-class. I got you. Oh, man. What are you, a bard? Some vicious <laughs> mockery coming from this thing. <laughs> I'd like him to roll damage. <laughs> yeah, it's vicious mockery. I'm going to go 2D. Psychic. Birdie Burrington is a... He's a bird bard. Yeah. A bard bird. I have to get as far away from this bird. It's only three. Okay. Yeah, all right. Look, it it's gonna pay off. I get a lot for a little with this build. Oh, anyway. I gotcha. It's for the flavor. <laughs> I got it. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Speaking of flavor, you're not gonna like all the people who live in the basement. Oh Fuck. no. Uh, we where the people come from? They probably not they're not in good shape, huh? Are they like Trap. Is it another zombie basement? Yeah, or it's yeah, like up the larder. Zombies. I wouldn't go down there. Wait, you're immediately suspicious. No, they're not zombies. <laughs> they're prisoners. Admit it. Mm. Well, how Look, else do you think you... we keep the blood mode fresh? Exactly. Your oh. union bluff. Your union bluff. It's really. We got to work on that. I'm gonna take the clipboard out and make another note. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look, on, you're man, this close. This you're this. You're this close. Well, what are you gonna do for us? I'll give you some money. Money, Psh, money. We don't need money. I'm a druid. Yeah, we've got like, a whole tower full well, of I money. Need, there's like bark chips. Yeah, we have a whole. We're swimming. There's a diving board and stuff. Yeah. Alric's tower? No. <laughs> That's our tower now. <laughs> a different tower where you can swim through gold. <laughs> What? No, no. I'll hold up uh, Ulrich's medallion and be like, yeah, our, our tower now. It's just something, you know, we've reappropriated on behalf of the Union. Thinking about calling it Nor's Tower. 
great. It's not right. a very good name. It, whoa. It's not oh. not? <laughs> Roll for psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> this bird bot is tearing us apart. Yeah, look. Uh, <laughs> you know, you could squeeze. You could squeeze, Nor. We need to make this a sork and walk and talk before we're all dead. Oh, we're not? I thought we were walking and talking. I was imagining we were, like, making our way uphill and you were, like... I think now that we've... Now that holding we've him like a baby with a full diaper. <laughs> now that we've bound his wings, I think we can probably... Under the pooping. armpits, like, oh, oh, he's, oh. Yeah. And he's just sassing us the whole time. He's pooping. And, now, like, Norris having to walk with their legs wide so, like, they avoid the trail. And every once in a while, a big flappy flare up before you totally uh, down so, we're prepared. This is going to be a... Wait, it's like a dungeon. It's a whole dungeon crawl in here. Yeah. Just, and and we'll that's fine. That's fine. Um, we just, you know, we're rested. We're level 200. I mean... Yeah, I'm... Did we bring I'm enough definitely... supplies for... Well, yeah, we probably crawl? brought some... I can start um, foraging a bit before we get there. Uh, to make sure that we have some some food going in. I actually do wonder if we want to go back, <laughs> get some I'm... stew. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine going back if we want it, if we think that a resupply now that we've got a little bit more information would be helpful. Yeah, if this is going to take more than than one day, perhaps I think we should bring some stew, <laughs> a little bit of seaweed, and I can forage on the way. Seaweed jerky. Because I can feed up to ten people, blah blah blah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, because I'm the natural enemy to these inlanders. Right. Uh, okay. You want to go back? There's, there's a female fox uh, out behind the house, and if you know what a female fox sounds like, I just got terrified. Oh, yep, yeah. there it goes again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kits, Kits, Kitsune. Yeah. Yeah, that, that freaked us out in the middle of the night once where we were just like, who was screaming in our neighborhood? Yeah, who's you know, getting attacked? Yeah, it, you know, it woke us up so we were like disoriented before we were like, oh, it's a, it's a fox. It's a mm -hmm. pleasant sound. <laughs> um. Yeah, all right. Uh, so we didn't get that far. Okay. Uh. Yeah, let's go back. Oh. Supply up. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, uh. You'll see. Okay. Or maybe you won't. Yeah, maybe... You know, maybe with blinders, that's a good yeah. idea. Just in, so, just in case uh, Matthew the Raven here slips us, maybe we should just either, yeah, blind him or gnaw you, hang back, and we'll just grab your, your stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, while you... I'll, let's do that, and while you guys are gone with my extra arms, could I fashion, like, a little... Uh, like a hawk hood out of seaweed. Mm -hmm. that, that's a great oh, idea. Oh, wow. Okay, this is really sticky. Okay. <laughs> Why I, is it night? I gotta go to bed. Just start snoring. <laughs> um, oh, I'm not gonna get a good... I'm not gonna get a good night's sleep without my apnea machine. <laughs> oh, no. My CPAPs! <laughs> I got the apnea! <laughs> Uh, it's a very serious stream for Vasty's people. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dermot and Umi head back to the ship. Bert, yeah. Bert, Bertie says, "Was it Nor? Was it right?" Mm -hmm. I mean, now that we're alone, we're friends, right? You're hugging me. We can make a deal. Oh, uh, okay. I'll hear you out at okay, least. I'll poop in whoever eyes you want. Mm -hmm. What carte blanche? No questions asked. Fly by pooping. They'll never know. Uh -huh. Now that this storm is down, I can go anywhere. That's true. Yeah. You know, your greatest enemy's eyes. Uh huh. Really what do, what, what do I got to do? 10 to 15 minutes. What do you You, you got to let me go poop on me. You got to let me go. Mm, I think I'll hold on to you until, you know, your services are needed. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what but I will keep it in mind. Even more gold. A level? What do you want? You want a castle? Uh, we're kind of, you know, wanderers, nomads in a way, you know, so a stationary place really, you know, 
we're looking for at this stage in our life. How about a yacht? We had one of those, kind of. Um, and kind of gave it away to a whole bold pirate. Well, that sounds so. dumb. What kind of idiots would do that? Just can't make this hood fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you putting that on me for? <laughs> Don't worry about it, probably. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. <laughs> Hello, is anyone out there? I can't see anyone. Hello? It's this for the entire time <laughs> you're walking back. Hello? I will meditate. <laughs> Sonez, watch over me, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Extinguish the light from this stupid bird. Never you know what? been more tested in my life. <laughs> Still a better NPC than Nofi. I said it. Wow. Wow. I've also been here the whole time. God, you fuck. <laughs> Every time I think of Nofi, I just think of when we were heading into that one uh, portal <laughs> and Annie made the goof that, <laughs> that Hester was going to turn around and Nofi was going to be there <laughs> holding Hester's hand. <laughs> <laughs> It's my favorite knife. I love knife. Knife should be in all stories. <laughs> There's a very knifey goblin in Gracefall named Bits, but mm -hmm. it's nice. <laughs> I, I believe in the in the like knifey being a nexus being. Yeah, the knifey continuum. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. They're all just the related to knifey in some capacity. <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry. The knifey nexus. That was the. That was the bit. Of, that was the bit. The bits. The bits. I think bits might be gender fluid because I'm pretty sure in earlier streams I described them as uh, I was using she, her, and now I use he, him. So I think I'm just going to make them gender fluid. Just going to switch yeah. it up every once in a while. There you that's go. cool. Today that's they're feeling what, masked. Alad yeah. That's part of the Ladrin lore, right? Aladrins and goblins are like this. I like that. Because goblins <laughs> they have fake creatures. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, that makes yeah. sense to me. Yeah, me too. That's it, team. Party. <laughs> Party. It's annoying. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, we're going to... Oh, she's killing me today. Oh. Well, they've, they've been rough. for... They're apparently, like, objectively worse this year. Like, people who have never had yeah, allergies have just developed... Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, yeah, I remember you really? speaking about it. My sister-in-law, yeah, I don't think she's ever complained about allergies before. She's just like... And she's also, Mine? she is getting to that age where sometimes, like, in your 30s, you just develop yeah, allergies. Yeah. But she's I never like, had them as a kid, yeah. Bad. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah. oh, I, I just take a Zyrtec every day, basically. I'm just like, oh, it's Friday. Geez. That's hard. Um, yeah. Mine are better this year, but that might be because oh, I'm in a different in environment. Nice area. <laughs> yeah, you're out there. All the pine is naturally filtering. Well, um. <laughs> pine doesn't produce pollen that right. makes you yeah, It actually is, yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not, um, if, yeah, I, I got stupid oaks in my front yard that poison me every day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that, will not shut up. Uh, just <clears throat> meditate it away. Back, uh, then uh, we'll come back and we'll be back at it. Just in time to get there and uh, the organ music will play and we'll scroll up. <laughs> <laughs> You find out it's Castle Lloyd 2. Simon's, mm. Simon's Revenge or whatever. Mm. <laughs> Nailed it. Byman, Byman Selmon. Mega Simon. Mm -hmm. uh, no, Super. It's Super, right? Super Metroid? Mm -hmm. Is it Super mm -hmm. Nintendo? Mm -hmm. I know lots of things. Uh, <laughs> Simon Prime. Anyway. Um, uh, let's see. You all... Uh, you can grab whatever supplies you need. Fiona's like, well, that was fast. <laughs> um, now, but listen, uh, dear, we, uh, we're going to get some supplies and stuff, and we want you to push off um, and park the boat on the opposite shore. Actually, I can... I fully have a swim speed and crap. I'm going to take the boat to the other... Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Just... ...shore, and... I was reminded of a mystery science theater joke, recurring joke from red zone Cuba, where they constantly talk about shoving off like their boat and all of the, all 
you know, jo- uh, Joel and the bots just go, you shove off every time someone says, <laughs> we shove off at dawn or whatever. You shove off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Fiona gets very defensive before she realizes what you mean. Hey. Shove off. Um, yeah, that way there's at least some running water between. Okay. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> okay. What? I'm not a familiar. Uh-huh. Are you... <laughs> you know, Actually, four, you cut a, a four twenty pin. Nice, Fiona. Our union. <laughs> well, at least you're not a scab. It's good. You're a suck up. Okay. Um. Um. But then, yeah, we'll, we back up the hill, back in the pines. Um. And yeah, uh, I, I all but mean it just in time to get the organ music rare in. And uh, we have to find a couple of skeletons outside and then we'll cross a moat. Um, so uh, traversing back, again, Birdie does not shut up. Um, you uh, crest a hill and uh, in a valley, which is poor castle design. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> in a valley. Um, there is a ominous black spired castle. Indeed, there's this turgid moat of simmering blood just blopping away. Uh, and Birdie gets real quiet all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Oh, now you're quiet? Right. right. Okay, I'm back. What's up? Where'd you go? What's up? You're back. So who are you talking to? So they know we're here. Mm. Yep. Fuck. Alarms and rings. Birdie, are we going to have to take you out <laughs> for um, our protection? For, for your protection? Yeah, because you seem to be like a spy in our midst. Yeah, I thought. I did think... I don't right. think I tried to hide who I was, except for all the times well, I tried we to hide who I was. Right, exactly. Yeah. We even put a blinder yeah. on you. and that, yeah. Yeah, so Well, I just got within 100 gonna... feet of the castle and so they can talk to me again. Oh, mm. so, okay. So they're hearing this now, too. Yeah, they can also dismiss me. Bye. What? Uh... Nap. Well, at least we got a rope back. <laughs> 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 Shit. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> is that what he says as he disappears yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> I could have taken Pact of the Chain and known some of that like top of mind because I would have reread the rules alright well I'm a sorcerer so that's what I did um and bird words hit uh <laughs> well it, nothing for it now I guess I mean short of yeah, we figured that they would probably see us coming anyway, so, you know. Makes sense. Really. Yeah, they are allegedly, like, the like the, uh, the the swamp doors were just, like, they're no joke. Like, their security is real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The yeah. other ones are sort of pushovers compared to these two. Yeah, which is kind of terrifying, considering they, they were capable of doing chunks, uh, and we managed to overcome that, but... And now they got two of them. There's gonna be things to deplete uh, spell slots and uh, and hit points on the way. Now, though, so you know. Yeah, you know what? I woke up today and I felt better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Felt really felt better. I felt like now I know Tasha's mind whip, and mm-hmm. I didn't know that yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Tasha's mind whip. Watch out. Yeah, I have a whole. I was thinking about all sorts of things that maybe I could tap into now. I don't know why. Like you know. Maybe getting lightning, or even bring mm. someone back from the Vale of Death, or bringing oh, animals to come to us, or taking yes. sleet, talking to plants. Sounds Some legit. Fay, I mean, it's it's all crazy. I, I don't know. Um, were those mushrooms of that too? <laughs> right. My DM has a list of the fay I can summon. <laughs> I just um, feel like but... my attacks are going to be, you know, more plentiful and more stunning than ever. You know, absolutely. I feel that. I like You're to think you learned from that all fight that if you just throat punch everybody, it's just gonna uh, work. Right. Yeah. Oh, this is dope. 
will eventually stop moving. Um, so looking down on the castle, uh, indeed, you can see every once in a while in the blood moat, these like bone white crocodile heads and backs kind of plop up and a couple bubbles appear and they kind of plop back down. Um, mm -hmm. it, you can't see anything below the surface because it's blood. Um, and uh, flying around the um, the top of the keep are these uh, kind of big, bold, chested, feathered vultures, except they have giant fly heads. Oh. They're buzzards. They're buzzards. Buzz, uh, they're buzzards. <laughs> uh, and they, keep, like, they keep, like, finding, like, carcasses and, like, vomiting acid on them and then kind of... They're like brandle fly. Yeah. Yep. Gross. Kind of slurping We don't want up. to be part of the, their but dynamic they have, you know, hero. Big tal they have, like, big vultury talons, but then, yeah, huge insectile wings that are kind of flapping nonstop. So there's also this so kind me... of hard buzz that's just kind of... Hey, uh, everybody, on second thought, fuck this. <laughs> we, you know what I mean? We can just fuck off back to the boat. And... How many of those buzz things are there? You count Come back when we're level 10. You count three. And there are how many crocodiles did we That's see? harder to count because they, they don't kind of come they, at the same time. You, so probably the same one. Count, you probably count four of those. At Do we least. see any way to get across the moat? Or... Yeah, because you're up here because the castle builders are idiots, George Washington. Terrible. Terrible. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a fallen tree branch that crosses the um, the moat sort of towards the back of the castle that you mm -hmm. all could easily cross. It's pretty oh. thick and beefy. And then there is a drawbridge, but it's up. Yeah, well, I don't want to speak for... Uh... For time it's spell slots, but maybe we pass without trace. Pass without trace here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I was looking at that just now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll cast that. And then, is there a way we can get over that wall easily? I can, I think. You said there's a way to cross the moat. Do we see anything from this vantage that. How well maintained does it look? Um, It looks better maintained than the other buildings. Sure, mm. sure, okay. Okay. There was the inference that they had fiends of some sort or whatever, some kind of cleaning demon. <laughs> yes. Cleaning demon. A dirt devil, if you will. I can turn into a crocodile. Wow. Well, she did it, everybody. She did it. <laughs> nice. I didn't think she could, but she did it. Um. Yeah, that piece of shit out of literally any joke I was trying to come up with. So you could... <laughs> Well, let, let's cross bridge one literally, and then. Okay, so the bridge is up. The crocodiles are patrolling, or chilling, whatever they do during the. What time is it? Eight thirty in the morning. It's pretty early in the morning, yeah. Okay, and they're patrolling, and the buzz buzz boys are are cruising around, buzzing <laughs> around, like flies in the sun. Ugh. Is it is it Pacific Northwesty? Is it still kind of giving us that New Island, uh, New England vibe? Like, what's the? Uh... It's New Englandy still, yeah. So it's kind of yeah. Okay. It's just like the Stepford Wives, right? I'm okay. I'm automatically picturing Maine. So yes, no, it's Maine. very Maine. Oh, okay. Oh, that I love kind of Maine. New England. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a very strong place. Uh, the land is strong there. Yeah. Well. It, it... Must be. It keeps surviving whatever Stephen King throws at it. Right. Everything. <laughs> Except I feel like the, the dread of lord the... Stephen King. <laughs> I feel like the setting of the of the uh, of the cabin in the woods is probably in Maine as well. Mm. When Which, I was, of course, when I was in Portland, they had you know, I went to a, a local bookstore and they had like a local author section. I was like, you can't put Stephen. It was all Stephen King. I was like, it's no. <laughs> He's a national bestseller. Like, I want, like, local <laughs> people I've never heard of before to be showcased here. <laughs> or have his, just his most recent one. Or, like, his autobiography or something. Like, his right. yeah, yeah, yeah. like have, like, one, not, like, a section right. of... Stephen, did you know Stephen King's from here? Yes, he puts every book here. <laughs> With Joe Hill? Any Joe Hill? I think Joe Hill was also there. Yeah, sure. 
and dueling uh, bookcases. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so perhaps pass with that trace. Uh, second level slot. We're gonna do that. Yep. Um, uh, you want that stealth check, survival check, like what uh, to get stealth check for sure. If we're gonna yeah. see if the you plus, plus ten to your check. Care. If you're sneaking to survive, isn't that really survival though? Isn't it? Isn't oh, it? Well, it's interesting, but that's sneak. not what the skill says, does it? Oh <laughs> snap! Oh, old raw <laughs> Andy over here. Do you want me to start playing raw? raw? I'll play by raw. Raw Andy, nice. <laughs> You're going to regret that quicken spell. No, no. You did, right. Um, 28. Uh, 17. Plus 10? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I oh, rolled a 3. Uh, I rolled a 13 plus 5, so a plus aren't 10. You, aren't you a dex build? Yeah, I've got a plus 4, but, <laughs> you know. Well, I got a 24, so right now the druid and the person who wears ornamental beads as part of her ceremonial dress. Maybe they have shells like as part of their design motif and you just blend in. Is sneaking better than the martial like artist? Puka shell dress castle. That bird prattling on just really threw really yeah, my yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I understand. Still coming back. Ah. I, I like to imagine. The mage armor now works. That's just auto cast on you, Umi. It's now like, it's basically like, like a thin, like, um, like it's skin tight basically. So it's just pressing all your beads and stuff taught to your chest, <laughs> so that they don't jingle jangle anymore. I love that. You're oh, I like was imagining like an action figure basically. Like, yeah. I was imagining that it was made out of water, so then it was muffling yeah. mm -hmm. all the beads, like all the jingling. Very Katara. You're just Ice Man. <laughs> and you shatter yourself that doesn't seem like yes. a good move bobby um <laughs> who's gonna clean all this up robert. water damages carpet robert <laughs> um and it's the 60s so it's probably shag uh it's all shag um well all my buzzards rolled like ones and threes so they don't seem Sick. to notice you. Nice. <laughs> um, cool. No, it is 30 feet across. Oh my gosh. Right. Yes. And this die's going away. The bridge is up. Nah, give it another chance. The die's going away. <laughs> give it a few more chances. It's like, a, don't it's, say like, that, Marty. it's like black. It's like a storm die. It's black and gray. Like all my other ones are so like pretty and jaunty. Like they're all blue and oceany. So like, oh, you're, 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 you you got the evil die out. So I was trying like, to use like my most right. vampire-y die. I'll use sure. this blue one. Where's the blue one? Blood. You have a blood red one. Try that one. Oh, you know what? I do have a vampire dice. Hold on. There you go. There you go. There you go. We're encouraging him to kill us with good dice. <laughs> I know. I will be sporting. Uh, I only have four words. Lou Wilson. Uh -oh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> here's, my, here's my blood splattered. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, very see. good. Yeah, I've got all there my... you go. These are my vampire yesterday dice. Let's see. Dang. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll take a picture of it, though. It's not the worst, it's just not good. Oh, I thought you rolled the net one. No, it's a four. <laughs> right on. <laughs> hold sure. still. Don't, don't tell me to hold still. What are you I, got, I got places to be. Okay. <laughs> um, none of my cool monsters notice you. Cool. Right? Aww. I don't know. That's pretty cool in my book. <clears throat> I love it. I'll just read it yeah. from somewhere else. <laughs> okay. There's still time. The fallen tree has cracked open a window in mm. to this uh to this castle and as you kind of peer in it looks like it has not been tended to because this was the castle's chapel uh -huh. so they can't go in there so we can get up in the tree and and go into the and window. go into the cracked uh stained I love glass it. into the Great. into the chapel does it and require climbish checks or uh, since none of my monsters noticed you like not even close no <laughs> 
Great. Okay, <laughs> so we were able to get in and go over. Um, I'll go in first. Yeah. Um, I would we... like... Hmm. Um, do we see... Was the chapel dedicated to, like, Evangeline, or...? Uh, now that you... Once you get inside, you can see that the chapel was dedicated to... It was dedicated to all of the gods. Oh, it's okay. sort of a, It's okay, sort cool. of, like, a good... It's got, like, um... Yeah, like the Stations of the Cross, but it's the Stations of All of the Gods kind of thing. Okay. So it, there's different stained glass commemorating the um, the nine kind of big big gods around the corner. Hmm. Or around, around the room, rather. Okay. Uh, so because it has been unattended we think that it has not been desecrated it's just not attended to Correct. by the faithful yes okay mm -hmm. so it still has some religious purity yes. or spiritual purity to it okay that's cool so we can maybe get our bearings from in here a little bit because it can... feels safe at least from undead mm -hmm. yeah, we can probably Mortal... save a game in here yeah. right just hit up that here, yeah. let's say let's say right here that's good yeah they have like uh word of recall that this would be a good spot for right? yes, yes. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. um, i don't have that but uh, um there's a typewriter we just have to get rid of it right um All right. while we're kind of like scouting around in here can i like look at each of the in glass and one of our other iconography um Particularly if there's anything to Sona's, but, you know, just kind of check in all of them to see, you know, what are the kind of cultural differences? Between... Yeah, so mm. the, the the big kind of stained glass that's at the front, or at the or rather at the rear that you walked through, it was clearly to Evangeline. You can see, <laughs> like, her feet and kind of looking at the stained glass on the ground. You can see her wings and kind of... Um, Evangeline is traditionally depicted, you can never see her eyes. Uh, mm. The three, the three big gods traditionally are depicted where you cannot see their eyes. Mm. Um, okay. Evangeline and Dakul have hoods. Palark has horns that start instead of here; they grow <laughs> over his eyes. So he has big ram mm -hmm. horns that grow um, over his eyes. Um, uh, yeah, so, I can't, I can't draw hands myself. You know what I mean? Like it's, <laughs> it's hard. I get it. You know, I get it. You don't want to look I dead. Not when they're the group, yeah. not when they're the kind of the big ones. Not when they're the yeah. yeah. So they wearing only, sunglasses and a hoodie. You can only hide so many hands behind other members of X Force. That's know? right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I love fucking sloppy in that guy. Um, you can only draw so many people with really, really long legs before everybody uh, starts to notice, yeah. hey man. Me, you can't draw feet. I don't know. How much rubble yeah. is in this room? Regular room. <laughs> and mist. Weird vapor mm -hmm. piles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, let me think. The, um, so, but looking around, um, you would say these are, like, to your mind, like, pretty in-line traditional paintings and stained glass, uh, to your understanding of the gods. Some, <laughs> some differences that you might notice, though. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, so, Dakul mm -hmm. usually has, like, bone wings. Here, uh -huh. they have uh, one of... Paylark's wings and one of Evangeline's wings. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, uh, Sonez appropriately has the constellations you all learned about a couple episodes ago uh, kind of emblazoned in their background. Um, mm -hmm. And here, Kala is seems to be the goddess of the sun. Like, she's cradling the sun instead of traditionally mm -hmm. for you all. It's Evangeline. Um, mm -hmm. They switch off. And Kala's yes. like the. She's the hearth. Yeah. Goddess. Yeah. Yeah, the hearth one. Yeah. Okay. Sun hearth, I see it. Yeah, yeah. So she's the the sun and the hearth goddess here, uh, and she's also like agriculture. So 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 that kind of lines up. Yeah. Um, the 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 shrine to Skolos, who's the titan, 
seems mm-hmm. like it had been defaced before. The, mm-hmm. Like it's it's clearly been kind of broken up in a way that looked intentional before kind of just deteriorating. Uh, okay. And Skolas is, uh, as a reminder, the, the reformed Titan from mm-hmm. the Titanomachy. She's a big snake. <laughs> That's kind of it. <laughs> She's just kind of a big snake. It's like duality and fertility and portals. Cool. Um, She's like, um, whatever, Slygon or whatever the, whatever the Roman god that Alan Moore worships. Oh, Glaucon. <laughs> yeah. Glaucon. Um, yeah. Uh, but other than that, everything looks to be, uh, very similar to, uh, how you would envision it. Okay. Um, um, uh, oh, sorry. Like it's... One last thing. It, it looks like the, oh. the house shrine like mm-hmm. the one that kind of like like it, it, it you can see like a dedication to this to this castle and it's um Kessel uh Hearth Miller or Hart Miller rather um is uh dedicated to Calvera who's the muse goddess. Oh. So they were a patron mm-hmm. of the arts. Hmm. Before they got eight. Yeah. Now Skolos is all uh, gads and flagged, or like torn down, like broken and like scattered, like, like or just like, like not just marred or like sectioned, like broken, yeah, like broken apart and scattered, yeah. Okay. Like, like they, they didn't literally just, took it down, yeah. They didn't just mar the the sculpture. They no, yeah. It looks like in a way, you know, like um, they reappropriated some of the some of the stuff to other shrines. Like you're kind of like. At first, you might even be like, "Why is this snake over with Paylark?" And you kind of get to the skull list, and you're like, "Okay, wait, okay, that kind of tracks." And you're, "Okay, they just put with the King of the Beasts kind of thing." Like, look, he, he he's King of Snakes, probably. Probably. Hmm. Sonez likes magic portals, I think. Emma certainly. Fertility that just goes with the Hearth Goddess. That's fine. Like, that's not that. Right. Life principle. Yeah, they're the same. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, and uh, presumably there's only one exit. Um, yeah, big, big double doors that have. Uh, if you if you go and like push them, they they are boarded up from the outside. Mm. So there there seems to be kind of peek your eyes through the crack in the door. It seems like there's a bunch of stuff piled on top of it. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. And that's look. the only way. Uh, mm. yeah, looking around, there is like a rectory. It looks like... Can I get perception checks? Sure. Oh, yeah. This... Or investigation. Is that any better for your... You're an int-based sorcerer warlock, right? You know I'm not. Oh. 17. 17? Okay. Uh, also mm-hmm. good at 17. 17? Less than that. Okay. Uh, in the rectory, it does look like there is a secret passage uh, in yeah in the priest's chambers uh, that goes under the castle. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, is it like something we need to open or is opening it how we find it yeah like you you like pull a you pull the animated candelabra kind of thing it's like he's and like, it and, and right it, yeah it creaks, it creaks open right. and you can look and there's um it's like a tunnel going down and you know and maybe it was like bootleggers or something way back in the day but right right uh this, this stone's a different color than the background art crazy <laughs> <laughs> hey just smush this guy yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's not, that's like the dungeon delver feet in action. Wait, yeah. Did, right? Um. Uh. Okay. Well, let's. Shall we go down here? Yeah. I figure at the very least. Okay. Uh, um. Before we head down there, um, if there's a spot for like burning incense or something in front of uh, anything dedicated to Sonas, I'd like to pull some incense out of my pack and yeah. light it and sure. do a quick just a quickie and then <laughs> okay. quickie blessing i can do it faster because i have four arms 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do they smell like that bird? <laughs> I hope not. Ooh. Right? Um, Sweaty bird. Bird incense? In, like bird familiar panic sweat. <laughs> really hot in this hood. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's still wearing the hood. Chirp. Um, uh, so yeah, you, um, the shrine, uh, glows faintly as if illuminated by starlight. Uh, mm -hmm. kind of the, um, the stained glass takes on a, a good twinkle. And uh, Sonez seems to wink at you in the stained glass. I wink back. That's part of the ritual. <laughs> Four finger hands. Are we, are we uh, still within the half hour of Pass Without Trace? Yes, yes. Okay, so do we... Uh, so that's still up. So mm -hmm. should we re-roll stealth checks? Like, were we... Did we um, break our stealth but we were doing it all? Or? Uh, if you go into the tunnels new stealth checks because it's a, a new environment there are new right like, okay things. but we still get the plus 10 bonus yes but you still get the plus still 10, up. Yes. great um do we want to do that guys yeah go down yeah right. cool. um so. i did have a quick question while we are um doing those roles nice. um so in the allegiance document it mm -hmm. does say that um the followers of sonas get along well with the followers Sela and Calvera, but then for Calvera, it says that they don't necessarily get, like, it says that they especially get along with uh, Sela and Paula's followings, but less so with Thalen and Sonez's followings. So, is it kind of like the Sonez people are like, oh, Calvera is pretty cool, and the Calvera people are like, eh. <laughs> right. Oh, we're best oh, friends. We love those yes. guys. Yes. You know, no, it's like, absolutely yeah. that. It's hard okay. not to get along. Well, because you appreciate like the like the artistic and like you're finding the poetry mm -hmm. in the in the cosmos kind of thing, and they're just kind of like, yeah, you guys are kind of weird and pretentious. So okay. <laughs> so it's not necessarily like they hate us, but no, they're just kind of like just they're kind of like they kind of find you exhausting. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to get the vibe yeah. vibe check right. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it's not like it's not like it, the only the only god that kind of the any god would like any other follower would like actively have an antagonistic relationship with is either Pelar mm -hmm. or Thrakar. Okay. Everything else is there might be tension or like um like uh, Thalen in particular, the, the, his followers are a bunch of sad sacks because they're mm -hmm. all like oh he's the the Lord has been shattered kind of thing. So, like, uh -huh. a lot of other groups find that exhausting, and they kind of find the cheerier ones exhausting. But, mm -hmm. again, like, it's hard to not like Evangeline. She's kind yeah. of the best, you know. <laughs> so, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. yeah she's awesome. the real Dolly Parton. I mean, basically. Nice. <laughs> I like that image. I worship at the mm -hmm. shrine of Dolly. <laughs> It's almost like uh, gonna be people could do nice things with their money if they wanted to, but they don't. If right? they wanted to. And she's Wait. still got some left over to make a theme park. Like, which, yeah, empl Dollywood. which employs a bunch of people in her hometown and pays well and it gives you, like, health insurance and crap. Like, and uh, there's a scholarship every year, I think. Yep. Um, she's someone she's who feels like person. she needs to be able to look, look herself in the mirror yeah. every day and feel good about she's herself. She's really but, doing like, Dolly's honestly. work. She is doing Dolly's yeah. work. New campaign. Oh, that's Church right. of Dolly. That's Paladin of Dolly. <laughs> uh, um, uh, so stealth check, I got a 27. Okay. 33. God. I know. I rolled an 18 this time, plus 5, plus 10. Umi. Well, old Stinky's bringing up the re uh, But uh, 22 still, so. Nice. Not bad. They're all fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, You're um, fine. Well, I've, I've rolled a twelve. It wouldn't be fine without this. Yes, uh, a trace. Um, you all. Uh, this is clearly different architecture than the rest of the castle. It was built after or uh -oh. before. It was probably built after. Uh, who builds a secret tunnel and then builds a castle on top of it? Um, 
I don't know. Uh, but it was clearly built after. Um, uh, you all crossing... Well, you haven't seen the rest of the castle, so it's hard to know what you're crossing under. But um, mm-hmm. you all kind of cross and wind, and um, eventually you smell fetid corpses above you, like like coming from coming from air vents mm-hmm. um, that Ooh, were nice. presumably to give you fresh air down here. But mm-hmm. it's just horrible. But you uh, stumble into a very dimly lit room that also just has human filth stink. And there's just a bunch of huddled people down here. <gasps> oh. Let's get them out of here. Let's rescue yeah, like, And like living, breathing, stinking people? Yes. Yeah, like fresh. living, breathing, stinking people. Where are they getting fresh people from? Maybe they go yeah, hunting. You don't want to know. Yeah. Maybe they have the crocodiles go out at night. No, they're, they're they, hunting. They captured them and they're they're playing The Sims with them. Right. Uh, Are you... All right. Yeah. Well, um, I get it. Um. Are any do any of them look particularly uh, worth the worst for wear? Like uh, the uh, desperate none of need them a look good. Uh, but in desperate need of medical attention? Uh, no, no, because they would have just eaten those. Okay. Um, um, like, that, how many? I, down say? here, upwards of 50. Let's get them out of here. Um, I want to put like a like a shush to everyone that can hopefully see me um, and try my best to kind of like with my hands instruct everyone that we are friends and we like to help you get out. Um, but I'd like to be as quiet as possible. Okay. <laughs> In case there's any guards or any. Um, they seem to, to basically understand. Okay. And they understand that you're not, you're not <laughs> zombies, vampires, or skeletons. Mm-hmm. Sounds cool. Or demons or crocodiles. Um, and I'll, like, point to any iconography that I have of Sonez. That yeah, you, you've got, like, the they shimmering would rec- star hair kind of thing, so. Yeah, yeah so they- hopefully that gives me some kind of credit with them. Um, All right, so is our plan to get them up and out, up through the tunnel, and then out through the, cha- or into the chapel to, to be safe until we come back yeah or... probably into the chapel okay yeah. well, let's let's do that um mm-hmm. if we can get it within our half hour these guys will also get a bonus to the stealth check because they just have to be within 30 feet of me so mm-hmm. hopefully we'll be able to get up there quietly and if if we end up having to fall back here maybe during the day we could try and like tunnel them like funnel them out but i, I wouldn't mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah i know i feel yeah with the buzzers and stuff um yeah yeah and the crocodiles. Right. Um, and I'll lend an armor too to anyone that needs it. Okay. Yeah, like Just I said, two. nobody's particularly old or uh injured, but they all they all you know they all seem to understand common and such. Like mm-hmm. they, they still have you know social skills and history. Like they've just been yeah. trapped down here for 50 years so they're all really pale too but um mm-hmm. for a generation basically so but they will all follow you uh yes and it's about 9 30 so we will wrap it up there uh, okay we'll come back in two weeks for episode 12 red skies and morning sailors oh uh, take morning oh um what's gonna happen to the boys they're sailors the boys is it uh real quick because while we're kind of like there you go, like, this way. Is there another <clears throat> way out of here? Oh, that can't be the only yes, way in it, here if they're farming them. Okay. It looks like there's a, a, a stairway up, and if you kind of poke your head in, there's a, it's the kitchen where they're, uh, okay. it's grizzly in there. Yeah, so. I would, I think, mm-hmm. take the stairway is safer. Uh, yeah. And uh, hopefully the hallowed ground of it all will hold. Yeah, one of the people is very obviously a bird in, like, a big cloak that's just like, I'm a person, too. All right, that checks out. <laughs> Look. Hello, my name is Man Mannington. All right, man, listen. You seem to be like a leader of men, so I'm going to need you to take charge here. Fuck. And, ah, fuck, fuck. 
It's the bed. <laughs> what? I tackle him in the body, but he's not there because he's a bird. <laughs> but then he's just trapped in the cloak. <laughs> he's trapped in the cloak, so it still works, but like but not how like I want it. He's like a he's like a trapper. Yeah. He's like yeah. flapping around. <laughs> Cloaker. That's what I mean. Man uh, Mannington. Um <laughs> My friends call me Manny. Manny, I know. I, I was feeling that too. I'm Manuel Mannington. Um, uh, outros and plugs. Timothy. Oh, boy. Um, I would like to plug um, playing games with your friends. And, you know, late to the party. I was watching it when it came out a little bit because my roommate was obsessed with it. But I wasn't really into TV. But I just binged Avatar The Last Airbender and then The Legend of Korra. And I'm going to give big ups to the series. It's really magnificent storytelling. I made the <laughs> choice to finally just knuckle down and watch these all before you know the Netflix whatever reality changes. Um, and I'm really glad I did. And um, that's what I'm going to recommend. If you, if you want something to lift you up in these, these times of bullshit and fear like check in with ang and the and the and the, and the gang mm -hmm. and cora <laughs> and and their story because uh all the characters are delightful and um they present so dilemmas and solutions in really wonderful ways and stuff gets dark too <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it's still real and it's awesome so that's my plug for tip for the week awesome. Uh, Cece. Uh, hi, I'm Cece, aka Soup, aka Soupska, on the Twitters and the Instagram. Um, and uh, also plug playing DD. Tell me more. Okay. D you had me with your friends. And this is available now, you say? Playing D and D with your friends, or whatever TTRPG you want. For example, you could play the Avatar: The Last Airbender uh, TTRPG, which we were just for stream, and it looks delightful. And uh, Chris just told me that you can pick it up at Target. Also, you can they have a um, all the starters. They have a starter box. Right. Yeah, yep. yeah. Target. So it's exclusive very accessible at Target. Oh, it's really? Exclusive. I believe it's. I believe it's a timed exclusive. Like Target gets oh, okay. it for a bit, and then. Because I've seen it at a uh, you know friendly local game store. Oh, uh, yeah, I, maybe it was like maybe it was like a month or something at Target, and then game stores. Got mm. it, but... Yeah, your LGS. Yeah, because I think it took the Quick Start thing came out within the month or mm -hmm. six weeks yeah. or something. So that makes sense if it cycled over. Yeah, so, so a very accessible game. Um, so you should go and check it out. Awesome, uh, Marty. Uh, yes. Hello there. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we're all having a good time here. A very serious good time here. No jokes. I won't stand for it. Um, yeah, uh, trans rights are human rights. Uh, LGBTQIA rights are human rights. Women are human rights. Like, just fucking... <laughs> Look at all these human rights right here. That's right, right yeah. there. Fucking human all over the place. <laughs> Humans are human rights. Like, um, uh, I don't know about wherever you live, but uh, or when you watch this. But next week we have local elections, and they matter. They matter. They matter. Uh, so check out in your areas. You might have primaries. You might have district judges. You might have uh, ours is mostly for the PTA. Vote for your PTA. Okay, you don't well, want books banned and for shit. Same people, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, really, you want good continuity there. So, uh, just a little plug there. Everybody vote. Um, uh, people are people, uh, and if you are a people, uh, uh, treat people like you want people to treat you. Um, you wouldn't want people to treat you like a weirdo because of your hobbies. Um, and if you're a nerd at all, that should resonate with you on any level. So, uh, anyway, uh, also like and subscribe. Uh, <laughs> click a bell. I don't know. You know what to do. Fuck around. Fuck around. Find Leave out. a comment. Find yeah, out. Leave around. Find out. <laughs> I still don't know what that bell does. I keep telling you guys to tell me what it does, and you oh, don't. Keith so. told you what it did in one of the comments. Of the, oh, shit. Of the All right, I got I to gotta go back and look. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, gonna make a new bit. <laughs> thank you, Keith. Thank you, Keith. I'm making oh, these okay. calls to action every time, and it's good to see that they're hurt. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and just uh, uh, I love you all. Uh, hi, everybody. You should argue vote. with that, Andy. I won't. I'm going to agree with everything everybody said. Wow. Oh, fuck. Wow. Fuck. <laughs> Um, the fuck shirt coming soon. Birdie. Totally. <laughs> Our first merch for this random bird. We need we need the fuck shirt and we need knifey. I've always been here. Like, I've been here the whole time. I've been here the whole time. With just a hand, with just Hester's hand. Knifey's. <laughs> now, no. um, out of frame, right? Now I'm coming from out of frame. I, hi everybody. I will agree with what everyone said. Please vote. I vote every year, sometimes twice a year, because you can. But not like in a legal way. Like there are two elections a year sometimes. Um, uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Indeed, it is literally my last, my favorite, one of my favorite finales of anything ever. I just love that whole. I love that solution. I love Ang. Um, I like Katara too. Or I'm um, sorry, Korra too. Uh, well, I like Katara too. But I like I like Korra as well. I just I just love Ang so much. Um, but yeah, play Avatar Legends, play a game with your friends. Uh, please be kind. Please uh, find light in these dark times. Um, and that's an act of rebellion and punk as shit. Have a great night, everybody. Oh, yeah. I will not be silenced. But the bird might be. Fuck! Oh, fuck! <laughs> I feel like it's spelled F-O-K when he says it too. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>